Hi there guys, my name is Phil Short and welcome to the official product launch for Two Notes Audio and Victory Amplifiers. And we are checking out the brand new Sheriff and Copper cabinets. Now these have been highly, highly anticipated and uh, highly demanded by you guys and also by myself. I love both of these companies. Um, I've been using them for years now. I've been using them, using them for recordings. I've been using them on tour, playing stadiums, playing arenas, uh, and they have just been absolutely awesome. So I'm really, really excited that we now have this official collaboration. And these cabinets, I have to say, I think they are some of the best, if not the best cabinets that Two Notes have put out for their stuff so far. They sound absolutely unreal. So uh, let's get straight into it. Um, so we've got open our Torpedo remote and you can see I've got the Cab M and I've got the Captor X installed here. And on a side note, this is the brand new 16 ohm version of the Captor X, which if you're a Victory amp lover is fantastic because all the Victory cabinets come wired in 16 ohms as standard pretty much across the board. And so now your um, amp is going to see the exact same sort of uh, EQ curve and um, impedance curve and you know all those technical things, I don't really know what they are, that sort of thing. So it's very, very exciting that this has also come out at the same time as the cabinet release. And that's what I've got open in front of me here on the screen. So uh, I'm just gonna run through the cabinets with you guys. We've got two by 12s, we've got four by 12 versions of everything. We've got one by 12 versions. And you'll notice that there are some different colors on the cabinets as well, which by the way, doesn't the artwork just look absolutely amazing? Super, super incredible. And um, we've basically got um, open back versions and closed back versions of each cabinet, but we've also got a boutique version and a classic version. Now the boutique version has got um, a bunch of uh, profiles uh, made with really posh, expensive microphones, the kind of ones that you definitely wouldn't want to drop because you'd need to remortgage your house with, that sort of thing. So we've got some kind of really very expensive microphones. And then we've got more industry standard microphones that you'd be used to using like Ribbon 121s, SM57s, that sort of thing. So you've got this option. Now, as I've gone through and made uh, tones for these, for the intro video that you guys just watched, one of the things I would say is, is that in terms of the sound, the boutique sound uh, is a little bit um, sort of smoother sounding. You know, they're, they're maybe like less um, aggressive sounding than the, than the standard microphones. And so if you particularly want to go for the lower gain tones or very sweet sounding tones, then those mics are great for that because they really um, bring out all the different nuances, especially for those lower gain kind of sounds, which is really, really impressive. For the higher gain kind of sounds, I actually did prefer uh, the standard microphones. I thought they just had a bit more of that sort of bottom end grit and aggression. Um, you know, they're not as polished sounding. And actually for like a really great rock tone, that works perfectly. So both of them have uh, sort of their, their tonal advantages um, to them. So it's just down to your preference really uh, of what you like. So we've got all these in here and of course you'll have seen loads of demos already of the Captor X. Um, you know we've got this fantastic EQ, uh, we've got this brilliant enhancer which sounds absolutely amazing, um, the onboard reverb and you've got the opportunity to do the twin tracker or you can kind of send different signals off. I'm not going to go into that for this video but Let's go back to my main sort of preset that we've got here. So here is a standard Sheriff 4x12, uh, closed back. And uh, we've got a, a dynamic 57 uh, tilted, so slightly off axis. And I'm actually going to go back here to the 121 ribbon microphone. Now, when you're micing a guitar cab, if this is new and you think, gosh, there's so many options, not sure what to do, it's dead easy to get a great tone. Basically, the axis, the more you increase the percentage on the axis, it brings it off center from the cone and it's going to give you a darker tone, so it'll be less bright. Distance will basically affect the low end response of your tone. So right on the front, which is where it is at the moment, you'll get loads of bass. 
If you find that you've got a bit too much bass, too much top end, you feel like there's not enough mid range, simply adjusting this uh, distance here will actually just bring out a bit of mid range. So that's how I think about it. So sort of a brightness tweak and then a mid range tweak. Hopefully that's helpful to you guys when you're coming to dial in your own tones. So I would start with getting the amp to sit exactly how you want it to, then come and uh, change this and then you can bring in things like the enhancer to bring a little bit of polish or just give the sound a bit of help if it's not quite where your ears are wanting it to sit. This enhancer, by the way, is absolutely amazing, which I'll just show you in a second. Um, but let's just get a sound going. So I'm just going to hit record inside my uh, logic file here. And I'm just going to make sure that I turn off the metronome because we don't need that. OK, so I'm just going to let that run. Uh, let me just come back in here. OK, so we're going into channel two of the Sheriff 22, going into the Capt X, and this is the sound that we've got at the moment. <laughs> Sounds ace, really, really cool. So I'm just going to change the uh, sort of axis here, just so you can hear a difference in that sound. <laughs> So you can hear it's a little bit fatter sounding, you know, it's less bright. And then if we just back off the distance, you'll hear that the bottom end response is different as well. And that's really important for a feel thing when you're playing as well. But you can hear there's a bit less of that sort of low end pumping, um, but we're kind of going for a rock tone here. So I think I'm going to put those back to where they were. Uh, but the Sheriff, does have a nice gnarly top end, which cuts just really great for rock tones. So I'm just going to leave those a little bit backed off there. And what I'm going to do now is just bring in this enhancer. So you can hear it's just more of the same, really. Really nice and chunky. Um, yeah, if I turn these that back down to zero. Okay. Bit more nasally now, bit more mid-range throatiness. This is a little bit like a deep switch, the thickness. You know, really nice and chunky, and then this is going to give us that sizzle on the top end. Really, really cool sound, so we'll just turn that off. Beautiful stuff. Really, really nice. Okay, so um, for the lead tone that I used at the end of the video, I actually just hit the front end of the Sheriff with a DNM drive. So I'll just kind of, with the gain off, uh, with the level kind of pumped quite high. So I'm just going to turn that on. You can hear there's a little bit more hiss. So we'll just turn on the, uh, the noise gate. So that hiss disappears. There you go. <laughs> and nice and quiet, which is fantastic. There you go. Super, super amazing stuff. So let's move on to the Cab M. I want to show you guys how I set up the sound in the Cab M. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so here we are in the Cab M, guys, and you can see that we've got the power section turned on. We've got our 4x12 open back sound. And I'm going to go for a bit more of a kind of bluesy sort of sound. So I'm just going to turn down the gain a little bit and keep the master quite high. And then uh, I'm just going to pump the volume on the power amp. I'm actually going to turn that reverb back on. A really nice reverb that I like in here is the Cathedral. And I'm just going to turn the wet up a little bit. There you go. top end sparkle and all that kind of thing coming through really well. Let's turn the enhancer on and just hear how that impacts things. So let's boost that thickness, that brilliance, and let's give it a little bit more body as well. 
we go. Really woken up the sound now. Fantastic little feature. <laughs> sound and again we can hear we've got a little bit of hiss you know single coils there's a lot of lights and wires in this room you might find that on stage if there's a huge lighting rig or like dodgy electronics in your uh, local club that you play in that can be a bit of a nightmare if you're playing a strat something like that so let's just turn that gate on and look at that on the soft setting all the way to the bottom it's got rid of that hiss <laughs> And fantastically, the gate is before the reverb as well, which is a really nice touch. So we're not going to choke any tails. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful sound. Now, because we're using a preamp pedal, we don't really want to use the preamp in this section, although the preamp is amazing. But you'll hear that it just ends up fighting if I turn it on. <laughs> This part's really designed for standalone overdrive pedals, and I'd really encourage you to check that out because it is incredible. There's a video that I did a few weeks ago using a DNM drive straight into the preamp section, and it sounds amazing. So you should, can definitely go check that out on my YouTube channel. Um, but there we go. So look, you've got all these different um, options. You've got one by 12s that you can go with as well. Uh, you could even decide to run your Sheriff going into um, a copper just to see what the different flavor of speakers is like. Really beautiful smooth tones, subtly different. So you can mix and match and kind of blend them. Now, the other really cool thing is if you don't have these two units already, you can buy these cabinets with the torpedo wall of sound. And once you buy the cabinets, Torpedo Wall of Sound is free for life. You just have it forever, which is awesome because a really cool thing that you can do with the Captor X uh, is you can just bypass um, all of the miking in the box and then you can use the same cabinets that you like as a plug-in in Logic or Pro Tools or whatever you're using. Uh, and then you can um, you know, track. You could use the, the Twin Tracker to track with the tone that you like and then you can also apply these cabinets in post when you're mixing you could change the cabinets change the mic positions to make it sit in your mix for your production a bit better as well so you have all of those incredible options that you can do um, but guys that is basically it i just wanted to show you just a little taster of how awesome these cabinets are my name is phil short you can find me on instagram phil short guitarist facebook phil short guitarist and youtube phil short guitarist or you can go to my website PhilShort.com. I hope to see you on any of those platforms. Guys, have an awesome time and happy shredding. <laughs>